Hello. I'm Penny Schilling. Welcome to Mrs. Schilling's Emporium. You are about to meet my mum, Mrs. Schilling herself, and learn lots of useful information about her natural home remedies. Hopefully, you have seen my other video on natural cures for toothache. If not there is a link below. That video tells you about toothache cures from things you may have in your kitchen. This one is about toothache cures from natural sources that you may not have, but could borrow or buy elsewhere. Guava leaves provide quick relief for toothaches. Remember though, it is short term. You still need to visit your dentist at some time soon. If you cannot buy fresh guava leaves from your local market, it is available online from the usual famous websites. Make sure they are fresh and tender so you can chew on one. The leaf's natural juice will work into the painful tooth and relieve the pain. To make a mouthwash, simply boil the guava leaves in a cup or two of salted water. Guava leaves have anti-inflammatory properties that can help heal wounds. They also have antimicrobial activity that is excellent for oral care. Wheatgrass is widely regarded as a super potent health food with a vast array of benefits. It is usually consumed as a fresh juice, or a smoothie as people like to call it nowadays. It also comes in powdered form. As a toothache pain reliever wheatgrass prevents infection and reduces inflammation. The chlorophyll in it also helps fight bacteria. To use it to relieve tooth pain, make wheatgrass juice and use it as a mouthwash. You can use a juicer or a blender but as juicer is better because it extracts as much juice as possible, squeezing out the nutrients, leaving you with less leftover pulp. If you use a blender, you need to combine your wheatgrass with water. This dilutes the juice, so it can be less nutritious. But, it may also be slightly more palatable and a good way to start drinking wheatgrass juice as a beginner. Myrrh has antiseptic properties, it has been used for healing the mouth by ancient Chinese, Middle Eastern, and African people. It is available as a tincture in health food shops. Tincture of myrrh dissolves easily. Add a few drops to water and apply to the tooth with a cotton swab. Myrrh's astringent properties help with inflammation and reduces bacteria. Simmer 1 teaspoon of powdered myrrh in 2 cups of water. Use as a mouthwash and rinse 5 or 6 times a day. Care should be taken because myrrh can be toxic if used long term, and it should not be used by anyone with kidney disease. Neem leaves have antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and analgesic properties which help in relieving dental pain. As well as relieving toothache, chewing raw neem leaves may help you get rid of bad breath and kill the bacteria, plaque or tartar buildup in gums and teeth. Asafetida can eliminate your tooth pain almost instantly. Great for relieving a toothache caused by a cavity. It is a plant with gum-like materials and also a resin used for medicinal purposes. Grind some asafetida with fresh lemon juice. Make it into a warm paste by softly, slowly heating in a pan. Make sure you do not burn the asafetida. Place a cotton ball soaked in this paste directly on your sore tooth. Wash a plantain leaf and then chew it and chew it until it is well chewed. Now put it on your painful tooth and press it in. This can give you some pain relief. Bayberry bark root will provide pain relief for toothache. Make a paste using the ground bark, mixed with white vinegar, and apply directly to your tooth for pain relief. I hope you have enjoyed this video. What is more, I really hope you fix your toothache. I will be adding lots more videos so please subscribe by hitting the button below and also click that bell symbol.